Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. How is Nina hoping that Ava can assist her? Spoilers for Monday, February 26, episode of General Hospital Center on a newcomer to the area. Spinelli's freelancing job, friends supporting friends, and a whole lot more. Don't miss this episode, I promise. Nina is a restless person. She probably thinks of a million various methods to get her life back at the same time. It's wonderful to screw about with Drew and Carly. But seeing Sunny again, patching things up with Willow, and spending time with Wiley are the things she most wants to do. Since she was never given the opportunity to be a wife, mother, or grandmother, these roles mean the world to her. Here's where Ava gets involved. Nina asks her best buddy for assistance. Is she thinking that since Ava and Sunny are roommates, Ava would help her find a way to talk to her husband, the husband who promptly served her with divorce papers? Like Nena, Sunny asks for assistance from someone. He offers Spinelli a position. This implies that he might require assistance obtaining sensitive information on one of his adversaries. Spinelli is a tech wizard, so chances are excellent he's on board, especially if this freelance job involves stowing the person responsible for the latest mobster attacks. In another scene, Blaze's mother pays her an early visit as a surprise. Usually not a huge deal, am I right? Blaze, however, believes she doesn't want her secrets to be revealed. It will also be challenging for her to maintain her sexual orientation, a secret while her stern, Catholic mother is around. Will things go well when Blaze and Natalia get back together? Or will disagreement control their bond? Teasers indicate that Curtis is going to give Drew some support. Is he going to be Drew's angel or his devil at this point? What does Curtis advise him to do if this has anything to do with his current dilemma involving Carly and Nina's whiplash revenge and forget retribution? Put Nina behind him and adopt the moral high ground? Or choose the low route and expose Nina's cunning tactics? Above all, Will his relationship with Carly be jeopardized by his decision? Regarding Carly, it seems that she meets Joan. Jagger, she also doesn't feel particularly good about it. She's actually nervous about John because of the vibe he puts off. Her BS detector was faulty not too long ago since she was receiving only positive vibrations from Mr. Brennan. She is not going to commit the same error twice. Is this related to Sam and Danny's recent conflict? Spoilers for General Hospital's Friday, February 23 episode center on important choices, crucial dialogues, and a lot more. Don't miss this episode, I promise. Naturally, Sam is still in shock over the commotion her son Danny created when he was brought home by a police officer the other day. Are you blaming her? He first departed from home without informing anyone. Secondly, he went down the perilous fire escape to accomplish it. Third, he drank alcohol when underage with his pals. Finally, the cops apprehended them while they were acting. Sam is speechless, of course, and she can't help but wonder if her son's courage in the face of peril comes from his father. Sam still needs to digest what transpired even after speaking with Alexis. This must be the reason she goes to the one other woman in Port Charles who understands her predicament. Elizabeth is that, too. Ultimately, Jake... Her son is Jason's child. Wait for Sam to confide in Liz. This is advantageous since the head nurse at GH is a wonderful listener and advisor. Sonny Corintas's personal and professional life are not going well. However, he can't do nothing except sit there. Does his decision to make a huge life change stem from all the broken relationships in his past? Or is it because he has this target resting on his back? Whatever it is, he isn't feeling jealous at the moment. Tracy had already made an effort to determine whether Gregory would be interested in going to Brooklyn and Chase's wedding together. Tracy attempted to conceal after finding he had previously invited Alexis as his platonic plus one, but it was obvious she wasn't pleased. Gregory naturally can't let this go and presses Tracy to give him an explanation. In other places, in spite of present and future problems, Christina and Blaze are growing closer. 
They are allowed to spend a nice evening together before any drama arises to further complicate matters. Lastly, if TJ is worried as the teasers in plea, what is the cause of his concern? Does this relate to the trip he and Molly are doing as surrogates? Or could it be that his mother Jordan is too busy putting herself in danger to be doing her job as deputy mayor while seated behind a desk? Expect moments of anxiety, rage, and concern as the stakes are raised in this episode. Expect this episode of General Hospital to feature an enraged Sonny, the surrogacy narrative, and an unexpected heart-to-heart -heart on Friday, February 23, 2024. View the preview of the video below. When TJ asks Molly if what they saw was unusual, he becomes worried. Is Christina worried about her pregnancy at this strange time? When Christina tells Blaze that she thought the kid was hers for a brief moment, it's a huge revelation. By this, what does she mean? Tracy is asked to join us by Gregory. Is this for a particular wedding or something else like dinner? What will she choose? Liz poses a pointed question to Sam at GH. If Sam is concerned that something more sinister is happening, she wants to know. Is Danny involved in this heart-to-heart -heart conversation? As Cyrus and Anna continue their collaboration, it appears that Cyrus is curious in the man they are pursuing. At last, Sonny hurls a glass angrily. This time, what in the world is enraged him? Which one is the bait that is read? A new identity surfaced as the possible mystery man responsible for the deaths of important organized crime figures on the Thursday, February 22 episode of General Hospital. Kind of. Sunny's unique way of talking like a thug paid off when Selena allowed him to confront her tainted goon. The minion could only come up with one name for them, Stone. One by one, mob bosses across the nation were falling from grace. After two assaults and a mole search within his own company, Sunny Corinthos is still seeking to identify the culprit. One of his finest allies, Selena Wu, and a rival mafia provided him with his greatest lead. They struck an agreement, and she stuck to it. She led him to the goon she had neatly tied up for Sonny. He didn't have to wait long to get one name out of the guy when he was all marinated and waiting for him, Stone. As soon as Selena's goon mentioned the name Stone, two possibilities sparked discussion and, more significantly, conjecture among the fans. Stone refers to two potential people of interest, FBI agent Jagger Cates first, the dude hasn't seen poor Charles's hide or hair in 30 years. However, he must investigate a case involving WSB weapons that have been stolen and are being utilized by organized crime to kill VIPs. If you're the one spearheading the probe, what better method to avoid suspicion? Jagger retains a resentment against Sonny despite his absence from PC. Naturally, there is a relationship between Stone and Jagger's younger brother, who held great significance for Sonny as well. Stone passed away from complications associated to AIDS back in 1995. Consider Jagger's connections within the FBI and his wide range of resources. Perhaps include his deep-seated animosity towards Sonny and the entire Mafia existence. Add to that his relationship to the name Stone, and the sibling he lost nearly 30 years ago. Furthermore, he might be the man Sonny is seeking. Alternatively, he might be the enigma. Jason Morgan is no longer with us, as far as the people of Port Charles know. He passed away in 2021 on Cassidine Island under the debris of a collapsing tunnel. He was there to support Brit in freeing Liesel, and then drew from Victor Cassidine's grasp. Burden is scheduled to return to GH approximately in early March, having left the show three years earlier. Thus, this might be how they involve Jason once more. Ultimately, Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, gave him the moniker Stone Cold, and it stayed. Has Stone Cold's mind been tampered with once more? Was Jason indoctrinated to eliminate the top officials in the mob? Did Jason decide to turn vigilant against the top offenders in the United States after regaining his memories of Quartermain? Above all, what would it take for Jason to become hostile towards Sonny? It was the two of them against the cosmos so many times. What would also make him incapable of defending Carly and her children? 
Why would he avoid his own children, or his children's mother, for that matter? It would require much. Stone Cold Jason Morgan might be in for the fight of his life when he comes back. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.